first time I came to Horicon, um, I got out there and it was bigger than I even imagined and, and, and tougher, tougher, um, because there's no roads out in the middle and it's up to you. I like Horicon because it's peaceful. I get away from the sirens, the horns, the radio, the telephone playing, but uh, that, that is a nice deal. It, it's really quiet out here. And you need alone time, that's what I call it. And you can get away from all this stuff. Well, quite a few people visit the Horicon Marsh, uh, whether it be for bird watching, uh, educational programs, or certainly hunting. Um, this is a huge migratory stopping point a couple times a year. We have some year-round residents. You can hear some of our residents honking in the background. On the state end of the property, you can kayak, canoe, hike. Uh, we do all kinds of nature hikes as part of the educational facility. And then certainly hunting and fishing and trapping opportunities are very big on the state end. We have a huge area that's wide open. Great during the day, the night, all four seasons of the year, we're always open and there's always a great experience to be had. We've got something for everyone here at Horicon, and if you enjoy wildlife, this is the place to be. We love the outdoors and I wish to, uh, we could get more people in the outdoors to enjoy this. It's amazing to me, it's paradise. And uh, you know, it takes a certain type to love it, but I would, I would recommend anyone to come to the Horicon Marsh and take a tour. And they'll be amazed. And if you buy a hunting, trapping, or fishing license, this money is going to work for you. In the spring, when trapping season is over, and I got my truck all packed up and ready to leave, I'll get out on that hill, stop my truck, get out and say, bye. <laughs> I really do. I'll see you next year, hopefully. Yeah.